dear viewers welcome to my class today's class is about emphatic pronoun now let's start the class pronoun part 5 emphatic pronoun now i am going to give you the definition and uh, now i uh, i am going to show you the difference between emphatic pronoun and reflexive pronoun First of all, definition. An emphatic pronoun emphasizes on the subject or on the object. It is placed after the subject. It is placed after the subject or the object. The viewers, emphatic pronoun is always placed after the subject or after the object. Then it emphasizes on the subject or on the object. What are the reflexive pronouns? The sorry, what are the emphatic pronouns? The emphatic pronouns are myself, ourselves, ourselves, yourself, yourselves, himself, herself, themselves, and itself. These are the emphatic pronouns because uh, they always uh, emphasize on the subject or on the object. That is why uh, they are emphatic pronouns. Now, uh, two examples here. I myself do the work. Here, myself is an emphatic pronoun because it is placed after the subject and emphasize the subject so it is emphatic pronoun i met the chairman himself here himself is an emphatic pronoun because uh, it uh, is placed after the object and it emphasizes on the object that is why himself is an emphatic pronoun here and now i am going to give you uh, the difference between emphatic and uh, irreflex pronoun we are viewers reflexive pronouns are always placed uh, after the verb transitive verb as an object but emphatic pronouns are always placed after the subject or after the object to emphasize them so this is the difference between emphatic and reflexive pronoun uh, dear guys emphatic pronoun is clear to all of you uh, thanks for watching the class and wait for the next class